Social media is being blamed for a huge rise in the numbers of children harming themselves. The children's charity, the NSPCC, says young people feel a constant pressure to have a perfect life as a result of sites like Snapchat and Instagram, and it is creating a nation of deeply unhappy children. Sky's Paul Hawkins reports. This is Maddie. She used to self-harm. I first started when I was about 15, and I think it was a number of things. So the pressures of school, I'd just started my GCSEs and boys, I was first introduced to, you know, the kind of world of boys and when you're young they seem like everything and I was just feeling kind of a bit overwhelmed with everything so I used it as a coping mechanism and the way that I would self-harm was cutting. Now 22, she uses her self-harm history to help today's teenagers. I guess it was me feeling like I was a failure so I wanted to kind of punish myself in some way. How did it make you feel after you'd done it? Initially like better but then after that you get the kind of feelings of like shame and guilt and like oh my god I'm gonna have to hide this when I go into school. Today though the NSPCC is blaming the pressures of social media for the growing number of children who are self-harming. The charity found 18,778 children aged 11 to 18 were admitted to hospital for self-harm in England and Wales last year. That's a 14% increase on the number of admissions for the previous year. No wonder Childline are counselling 50 children a day about self-harm. Children are talking to us about feeling completely under siege in their daily lives about all forms of pressure, so pressure from school, pressure from um, social media and that constant always following them around, feeling they can't be themselves, they've got to conform to what's out there on social media. The government says it's investing £1.4 billion in mental health services for children, but experts say the key is early intervention at school. Do you agree with the NSPCC's assessment that social media is to blame for a big rise in the number of teenagers self-harming? Young people are online all the time. They're on you know, every single form of social media looking at these amazing celebrities and you know, their lives and how perfect they are. You can't compare yourself to the people that you see because chances are it's edited a million times. And you know, you are worthy, you do not, ha you do not have to do it. Paul Hawkins, Sky News.